Welcome to Journey Into Nature, The Outdoors. So in today's video, we're gonna be integrating the EcoFlow Delta Pro and the two extra batteries for a total of 10,800 kilowatt hours into our tiny home. So here we go. In straight into the EcoFlow Delta Pro right in there. You'll hear it click. Okay. Then you do the other one. I'll tell you what, this it's pretty tight in here, but gotta get it done. go sand boom, boom. now from here I'm gonna hook up the um, the solar cable which is I'm gonna be hooking up this solar cable this wire, I'm gonna plug it in, and then I'm gonna show you how I have it inside. So, actually, let me show you. So this is the connection for the solar, for the solar array. This came with the box, with the packaging. Now this one here, this cord, I've had, and this is what, this gonna go straight into my, my 30 amp RV adapter, so. Matter of fact, let me just take that off already. It'll go just like this. And this one here, let's go ahead and get this in there already. Right in here. Still nothing's on. I want to let you know that this they have been sitting already for a past month or so, maybe a little bit longer than a month, about a month and a half, and they're still at 100%. So the shelf life, life on these things is good. Well, so I got that one plugged in. Let me go ahead and connect this Anderson adapter here to the back and that one come on There we go. It's in there. All right. Now, as you can see, all I have is I just plugged it in, and there's the um, the um, solar connections, and they come in here. And so here's the system that I have and that is still working on here in the off-grid home, which is with the MPP solar um, all-in-one system. It's very easy. It does everything for you. But all I'm going to do is 
here in a little bit, I'm gonna unplug this one last because once I unplug it, it's gonna take all the power that I'm running right now, the lights, the refrigerator, it's gonna turn off. So, and this is a solar. So I'm gonna disconnect that and connect the other solar. So first things first, let's connect this one. Connect this one. All right, and now what I'm gonna do is positive to positive. Okay, and negative to negative. And you hear click. Okay. And then I'm gonna unplug this one. This is what's giving the house power. I'm gonna plug the, the EcoFlow Delta Pro. Okay. And let me just go ahead so there's no problem. Break this this right so right now the only thing that's connected in here is the solar and the power coming from the EcoFlow the, uh, Delta Pro from with 30, 30 amp, amp RV right or tiny home socket it's that easy two connections so and even done even though we're connected and everything the unit itself is still not on in order to turn it on you have to push this button right in here and once that turns on, because the light here, the light is on, so the light should come on. No, not that one. Well, it's this one. This powers the sockets. Give it a second, and boom, there's the electricity. So everything is done. I don't have that much water coming in because it's almost um, it's 6.40 in the evening. So I only have... 299 watts coming in yeah just went down and there you go the batteries are at 100% so it didn't take much charging but you can still see 46 watts coming in let me go ahead and turn the AC on Compressor just kicked on. You can see right now I'm getting 664 watts coming in from the solar panels, and it's taking a little over a thousand watts. This AC takes a little bit extra, and don't forget that I'm also running this light, this light, and refrigerator charging my iPad I'm also charging my Bose speaker along with all the sockets throughout the tiny home real quick for safety reasons I did add a brace so to the top of the batteries to keep them from tipping over you will see it at the end of the so video based on all the power consumption that I have right now which I have all the lights on I have a thousand watt AC and my refrigerator is probably pulling about 50 watts right now since the compressor on that one is not really kicking in because it's nice and cool already. So I'm running about, what you can see, 1100, 1070, 1080. And based on that, I should be able to run nonstop for about 10 and a half hours. Taking in consideration the 700 watts of solar what you coming do it in. Is you add that, those 11 hours, those 9 hours, those 11, divided by 3, and that'll tell you how many hours you can run. But that's only if it continues running that AC with the compressor on and at that level. But you should be able to run a lot longer. As you can see, But once the AC, 
the compressor, once the AC reaches its temperature, the compressor will turn off and it'll just maintain its temperature. You're not going to be pulling as many watts. Therefore, you should be able to run it longer than the 10.8 hours. That's how long you can run with this three. Around 10.8 at a thousand watts. But, like I said, you're not going to be putting a load the whole 10.8 hours, so you should be able to get more out of it. I can run my AC for two nights on just the batteries, no solar. All these batteries might be an overkill for me here because it's, it's really too much, too much juice. I could have, I can get away with just running it really with two, but three, why not? Especially since during the day I have a thousand watts of solar power coming in, keeping the batteries charged, ready to use at nighttime when there's no sun. Well, that's it for now. I might make another video, but I just wanted to show you how I integrated it already with my system. Because I do, let me show you here. I do have my old system, which still works perfectly. And I just found a way to integrate Coexist. it both together. So this orange wire that you see here is this one here, which this, I taped it up so I don't accidentally plug it in there. This here is the input. This is what you will plug into the wall at your home to power in this unit or to power your batteries which are, they're outside, there's nothing to do with this. And then this one here is your power out, which means I would plug it in there and that gets my my uh, tiny home electricity, which goes through, through there and there and there and there. And it goes to my breaker box and it powers the whole thing. So that's why here is where everything is plugged in so if i'm going to plug my other system back on i would unplug this one and plug this one back on and take off my solar from here which coming from that little hole and then plug the ones from my other system on which they're unplugged as well anyways hopefully this doesn't look too messy to where it doesn't it should be. this is my old system and my new system. If you have any questions or comments, please let me know. Put it in the comments. Thank you for watching Journey into Nature, the Outdoors.